to the most hard book because these are the Gnostic scriptures. The Gnostic scriptures, let me explain this, the esoteric part of Christianity, which is the exoteric, which is only a moralistic code based on social governing of a people to keep people in line basically that was that was that was needed in the Roman Empire. That is basically the opium of the masses and basically it's something to govern and it only gives you fragments, like I said last night, of the original knowledge, gnosis, which means divine knowing. So the esoteric version of Christianity is Gnosticism. The key is that this would have been lost, but in Nag Hammadi, Egypt, in 1945, after they dropped the atomic bomb, the, they found the original Gnostic scriptures. The key is, is the Gnostic scriptures is dialectically different than the actual Bible, until in order to put it out, it took them almost from 1945 to 1977 to just release them because the actual theologian had to come in and try to make it similar to that of what the later material of the Bible was to release it. Now what happened is this, and, and, and what happened is this, in, in uh, Rome, they needed a new religion because the simple fact that Romulus and Remus was not making it for them. They were on the decline. So they had inherited the Gnostic scriptures from the Greeks that the Greeks got out of Egypt. And so therefore, about this, because they, they had caught the Greeks, so they went and took all of their particular scholars and even had some Jewish scholars to defect and start writing for the Roman government, Josephus. And they sat around and they said, well, we must take these Gnostic scriptures and translate them and make the New Testament. As a, and as a result, but they made the New Testament modernistic, fire and brimstone. You die and go into hell based on evil to control the Roman attitude. So it's positive because the damn Romans was known for killing everybody in the world. So in order to control their particular people, these particular scientists knew that they had to give them moralistic code. But in the, re in, 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 in the process of doing that, they destroyed the Gnostic scriptures that was brought out of Coptic Egypt by Greece. But the Gnostic groups of people, the Gnostic people, which is the group of black people from Egypt, were still living at the time. So what they did is they had to hunt them down most of them and kill them all. So it's like, a, it's the same old story you see on anything whereas you got an idea, you got the real thing. I'm gonna plagiarize your stuff and turn it around so it can be politically a tool for, for politics for me. But in the context to make sure that nobody don't find the original script that will say, that, hey, there's a lot more to this, I have to kill you off. So it's the same thing, you know, you steal somebody's stuff and then you kill them, see, it's mine. Well, that's what happened. But uh, that's what happened, and it would have got away with it until 1945, when the Nag Hammadi text was dug up. But then they held on to most of it, up until 1977, and then you had the, the Nag Hammadi library, but now the new revision of this, which one of the guys that worked on the Gnostic scripts in 1977, is Bentley Layton. Bentley Layton, the Gnostic scriptures by Bentley Layton. The ancient wisdom for the new age. Ancient wisdom for the new age.